guys welcome back to my channel with life with shay thank you for choosing to stop into this channel you guys and um i'm showing you guys my beet juice to those that are new to this channel i am getting a tummy tuck and a bbl and ddr so um i'm basically doing different methods and things to bring my um hemo level up which is your iron your blood level up so that you can be able to endure surgery without cell saving or um, without having to have a transfusion. So I made my own beet juice. If you guys would like to know how I did that, you guys comment down below. But today we're just going to <clears throat> take back this wig that I ordered from Amazon. And... Um, yeah it's, it's it's not an ugly wig it's just didn't come as advertised so if you know what i mean by that you guys go ahead and hit the like button subscribe and comment down below or whatever this is just going to be random clips just a vlog that i'm just going to go about my day doing because again this is a life with shay so you guys want to know what i um am doing um up until the time it's time for me to go to surgery which surgery day is the 19th of july but i will be boarding leaving my uh for flight to the dr um july 17th which gives my body time to kind of settle down or whatever because you know that and if you don't know and you're planning on having surgery or whatever you know that um being in the air it lowers your your levels i don't know why <clears throat> I haven't quite did all the research for that to understand why that happens or whatever, but it does, but, um, it does or whatever. So, um, being there for at least two days before my actual surgery, give my body kind of time to balance itself back out and, um, everything to that nature or whatever. And you guys, I am just wearing a, um, an outfit that I purchased from Shein. If you guys want to know more about that, let me know. Um, actually, I'll probably insert something so that you guys can kind of see the outfit or whatever. But yeah, y'all come along with me or whatever, and let's 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 get it going. Let's get it going. All right, y'all. So we are headed to take this wig back. Y'all look at my cute little purse so super cute look at it it's so cute it's open let me show y'all how it look when it's closed that girl okay that's what it makes me feel like that girl is so super cute i think i want to order me some more colors y'all i'm just eating some goldfish I'm so addicted to goldfish i probably ain't that good for you but i really really liked it i think it's the salt that's on it don't give up but i'm kind of like giving up to a certain extent about losing weight which because <clears throat> it's been super super hard i still got a week before my surgery so um the way i gotta back out of here y'all because i share driveways with somebody uh with another house this house that's behind me that's not my house my house sets on the street but i don't have a driveway from the street that my house sets, sits on so i have to come this way but anyway um what was i saying see that's what i get for running my mouth um i'm gonna go this way i guess i can go this way mm. but what i was saying was um so it's been kind of tough trying to lose weight for real for real but i have a week to go yet so basically um i'm just incorporating more fruits and vegetables and stuff like that but i really want to get to the weight that i need to be at because i don't want to get and have my surgery done and then start losing weight after that which it seems like a lot of bbl what girls went in where they weren't at the weight that they should be at that they'll start to lose that weight and then they'll start to lose their uh the fat in their butt and i really don't want to do that so it's just like i'll just you know i don't know i've been trying to like get on the um 
the treadmill, which I probably will insert a clip with me on that treadmill. My daughter was like, Mom, I think your body is just used to the treadmill. You should just go and weight train and stuff like that because you guys know you can lose weight through uh, weight training too. Um, I just don't know what I'm going to do. It's been, like I said, it's, it's supposed to be my surgery is scheduled in a week. So I'm really praying and hoping to God. And if I have to uh, reschedule, then I'll just have to reschedule or whatever. But I'm hearing that my doctor, which is Dr. Rhodes, is booked all the way up until November. So you know that she's the bomb diggity. She's the GOAT. I know everybody say that about their surgeon. I haven't even had surgery with her yet, but I see her work and I, I just, I haven't seen a dial complain yet. So I'd be able to really say she to go after I get my surgery done, but I'm really hoping that um I can go ahead and get my surgery done, you know, because I can tell that things are like changing in my life, things around me. Um, and, and, and I can just see that change is being done or whatever. So it's crazy if I can try to explain it. Like, you know, when you're moving into a new phase in your life because everything around you becomes too familiar and it's just not, it's just, it's not the same. It doesn't feel the same. The energy doesn't feel the same. And it's just like, you know what? I know that something is happening, something is changing, or whatever. So, where are these people at? So, I want to move. I want to move with the change, or whatever. So, I'm praying for the best when it comes to everything in my life, or whatever. I just feel like my success is inevitable. Um, I'm gonna keep on saying that over and over, or whatever. Keep speaking life and positivity into my um into my life and my situation stances because change is gonna happen regardless okay whether you want it to or not but it's how you respond to the changes or whatever and just be open and just be aware of what's going on and I'm, I'm totally aware of what's going on I know that there's a shift there's a change that's happening so, um, I'm going to take you guys with me. I do want to go get a pedicure if I showed y'all my feet. I'm ashamed. It's ridiculous or whatever. Just haven't had time to even go and go get a pedicure done. This is just ridiculous. But, um, you guys stay tuned. I'm taking y'all along with me again on this journey. So, stay tuned y'all so here is Kohl's this is where you go in my state to do returns from Amazon so um, I think you can go to the UPS store too but I don't know where it is in your actual state but it's here at Kohl's and UPS um, at my state so Hopefully this process doesn't take so long, so let's go. Alright y'all, so I had to do a quick look, see you, see myself or whatever. This is going kind of fast y'all because there's music playing in the store. Yeah.
Hi. Pedicure. I didn't make an appointment, but do you have any opening? Yeah. How much is shellac? Mm -hmm. Oh, 48 for shellac now? That's like almost $50. Did you guys go up on price? My feet is looking better than what they were looking. Then I tipped anyways, because you know they're doing a the service. But look at that baby toe, that ain't right. And look at that big toe. Um, I don't like it. I thought I liked it, but no. This is the place that, so I end up coming to a place that, um. I normally don't even come to or whatever. I end up driving some ways to come to this place. My face is super greasy. You see those lines on my face from that mask that I had on? Because even though I'm vaccinated still, I don't know if people around me are, are is vaccinated. So, but um, I don't like it. But I mean, it looks better than what it was looking or whatever. I don't mean it, but it looks totally better than what it was looking. Um. I don't know if I'm going to be coming back here no more. And I paid, like, it was $48, and I did give a $5 tip. I normally give, like, 5 to 6 to $10 tip or whatever if I really like it. But still, somebody is doing a service or whatever, so you always tip. I don't know if you're a tipper. If you don't tip, then you're just missing out on all your blessings and you're a selfish person. Don't do that. People are doing you a service. So you need to always um, be a big person or whatever and, and, and tip. Tip the waitress, tip who's ever serving you. And that's just on period. All right, y'all, I'm back at home. Look at my bootleg remote. Just bootleg, won't get another remote. Don't wanna go and drive all the way to the store to go get a remote. But so I'm tired. I don't know why I'm tired. It's only like two, almost two in the afternoon. Well, I think it's probably after two or whatever. And I came home and got undressed and got on my couch. I haven't eaten anything, so my food is, I was gonna eat a salad. I may eat a salad later, I don't know, but I just wanna eat some food. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so tired. I just took my woman today vitamin, or did I take that earlier? No, I just, can't, I just took it, so I took it kinda late, or whatever. I did the beet juice. 
I don't know what's gotten tired like that. Like, I really don't. So I'm getting ready to eat a um, buffalo chicken sandwich. That's what I'm getting ready to eat. That you get from Walmart. They're so good. I threw away the packaging or I would have showed you guys. Look at this dog. So anyway, you guys, thanks for tuning in to another Life with Shay. Um, my big day is approaching. It's coming fast or whatever. And I am just basically um, trying to prepare for it and showing you guys my day to day. You know how to keep content and busy when you know that your surgery day is coming around. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that you're hydrating. You want to make sure that you're staying busy because if not, you're going to be having all this idle time, suddenly thinking about the surgery, maybe having some um, negativity and backlash from your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? You just got to stay busy because your thoughts will be all over the place or whatever. You don't want to just be sitting and sitting and sitting in the day of or whatever. You haven't accomplished anything or did anything or whatever. So, um... I'm about to eat and not call it the day, but I probably will try to sneak in a little nap. I don't know. Maybe I'm tired because it comes with, you know, the older you get or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for tuning in with Life with Shay. And I'll get back with you guys on another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys.